<laughs> morning bacon. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Now, we do have a male warthog, and unfortunately he's not looking too good. He's definitely uh, fallen victim to the the effects of the drought. He's quite thin. However, you can see he's very happy now. He's on his knees and he's munching away at all the grass. And I suspect that's why he's not too bothered by us. Is because there is lots of nice grass around here. And at the moment, the only thing that he's interested in is eating and putting on condition again. And in my opinion, I think that the warthogs suffer quite severely, unfortunately, in, in the droughts. And I think, if not, I think probably the worst, more so than buffalo and hippos and elephant. And Jandra and I were just chatting, and we said that we never ever get to see warthogs standing still. Normally they're racing off with their tails in the air, and you're just catching a quick glimpse of them. And I said to him that I've found, since I've been in the sands, that normally in the drier months we see these young warthog males and they tend to be quite relaxed, but it's normally just after we've had a little bit of rain, and then they're desperately looking for food. Because remember, they, they is, when there isn't very much food around and they spend their time running away from things, they're using valuable energy. So I think they become a little bit more complacent, just because they have to. And if they race off all the time, eventually they're going to burn away and start eating into their fat, their fat resources, and obviously they don't want to do that.